What's up guys, let's set up the TP-Link Archer C6 Wi-Fi router as a repeater. This can't be done from the TP-Link Tether application, you have to use web browser graphic user interface to do this. Uh, feel free to use mobile devices, but the system is not optimized for mobile browser, so I recommend you to use the computer. Uh, so, first of all, you need to make sure that the router is powered on and you have the Wi-Fi indicators glowing solid green. You don't need to connect the router to your internet source uh, because we want to establish the wireless connection right now. And one more thing, you need this password. A wireless password uh, on the product label on the bottom of your router. So write it down or remember it and let's go ahead. Let's start by connecting to the TP-Link network. Open your Wi-Fi networks list. Find TP-Link here. Uh, so we have 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz band. Connect to any. 2.4 is good enough to set up. Enter the password from the product label on the bottom of your device. Check if everything is correct. Click next. And once connected, you can open any web browser and type in the following IP address 192.168.0.1 or uh, just type in this address tplinkwifi.net. Hit enter. It takes you to the welcome page. This window you can close and you just create the administrator password. Click let's get started. Now you're asked to log in using your just created password, so login. Uh, it takes you uh, to the quick setup menu, but you need the advanced tab on the top of this window. Uh, here, scroll down to the system tools, open this tab and select system parameters. and scroll down a little bit more until you see these WDS sections for 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz band. So now uh, let's uh, enable WDS bridging. Check this box. Uh, I do it for 5 gigahertz network because I am connected to 2.4 gigahertz network now. So uh, let me manage 5 gigahertz first and then we can come back and manage uh, the other band. So, click on survey, select the network you wish to extend. I wish to extend setup and solve. In some reason, I have three instances found here, but let me use the better signal, I suppose. So, uh, now you need to enter your current Wi Fi password and then just click save. Now it's saved and uh, let's go, do one more thing. You need to go to your network settings over here and go to DHCP server and disable DHCP server. Uh, now you have to reboot your router. Let's reboot. Click on yes. And it's rebooting. Please do not operate during the process. No problem with this. And once your router successfully rebooted, you will see the screen unable to connect because we are not connected to the default network now. It's extended network now and we need to reconnect. So uh, let's go to Wi-Fi settings and find the 5 gigahertz network. We just have set up connect to this network. If you are required for a password, you still can find the password on the bottom of your uh, router or maybe a rather extender. Okay, it's connected and secured. And now let's try to access any website. Let's say YouTube. It works. Uh, five gigahertz network is up and running. And just in case, let's check if the 2.4 gigahertz network set up automatically. Let's connect. Okay, let's try to reach some another website, Wikipedia, for example. That's it. 
Okay, guys, now your rotor works as an extender, as a repeater, and you're all set. I hope this was helpful. Subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, and be awesome. Bye, guys.